The books of J.R.R. Tolkien showcase a menagerie of creatures that populate the world. And in the land of Middle-earth, monsters play as much of a role as heroes do. Another big opportunity for iconic characters in the game are the monsters. <laughs> Tolkien created some of the uh, most iconic fantasy uh, bad guys. The type of evil that is represented by uh, the monsters in Middle-earth is perhaps different than in other fantasy. Their uh, lack of nobility is a better way to explain how bad these guys are. Evil's a big part of any big fantasy, any big struggle, the struggle between good and evil, and I think we can say that one of the things that Tolkien did really well is create, again, really believable evil, evil that was rooted in some kind of reality that made sense. These are the original of all these types of characters. You've seen them in everything uh, afterwards. It's kind of interesting, there's sort of a dividing line between when Tolkien wrote and when everything came after. Orcs became standard in fantasy. The reason why is just how well they were portrayed as completely debased, corrupt, uh, irredeemable. That's an orc. When we were making the list for the monsters that were going to be in Lord of the Rings Online, we basically went through the books and jotted down every monster that was ever mentioned, even if it was just one time. We're trying to make sure that monsters are where you, where they should be, right, where they're expected to be. And uh, that really helped us hone it down to the approximately 40 iconic monsters that we needed to create. We have the familiar Tolkien uh, monsters. We have orcs, goblins, trolls, uryx, wolves, spiders, um, and we've also fortunately had uh, the ability with orcs and goblins to do varieties of different, because they're described as being very different in appearance. The orcs aren't one uh, homogeneous sort of look. There's big orcs and small orcs and skinny orcs, so we had that variety. When it comes to orcs, I really view the, you know, the orcs as corrupted elves. So I really wanted to make them look like that at one point they were elves. In the books, they don't go into great lengthy description about how each orc looks. And you definitely get a feel for the attitude in the orcs, but there's still a lot to, to play with. Orcs are, they're the foot soldiers. They're the ones that are out there cleaving heads. They are the main force that uh, both Sauron and to a certain extent Saruman ended up using throughout the books. And then we started looking at what are the monsters that we want to create. And that was driven more by which areas feel like they need more scary things to fight against. A troll that we came up with called the Gertrog, and that's a monster that was described briefly in the books. Basically, Saruman wanted to make a smarter troll. So we created that character as well, and he's huge, and he has a little bit more of an intelligent look in his eye than what you would get from a normal troll. We have a creature known as the Nika Breaker, uh, which is manifested within swamps and other really nasty locations of the world. As they're mostly insect-like, they burrow into the ground and they will do other things to confound any form of players who happen to get near them. They're midges, like one of the things, they're insect swarms that the Fellowship encountered when they were actually moving through the swamps outside of Combe and Archit. Which parts of our world feel like they just need a totally different feel or flavor, right? And then, then we sat to concepting those and created those as well. We want to expand on all that because we need as many monsters you know, in our game as possible for variety. A character, we would, we would find their descriptions of what they looked like, uh, copy those descriptions out, put them together, and, and hand that to a concept artist. As a concept artist, my job is specifically to, to create monsters, characters for the world of Lord of the Rings. And I keep in mind culture, costume, the demeanor of each character. When I design a character, I first start off with a sketch, and then I develop that into a silhouette that looks good, so that's recognizable in the game. And then once that gets approved, I get into the real meat of the design and flush it out into a final drawing. Then I will make an orthograph, which is basically a tool to help production artists get the right proportions of the character that I draw. So I will do a blueprint, a front, a back, and a side view of every character that I've drawn with every little detail. And then I pass those three drawings off to a production artist. And then they will start to use a 3D program to pull and extract a model. Eventually, when they get that all finalized, then they'll go in and add textures. Evil is the main antagonist. That is the role that evil plays in pretty much every game. But in this game, it is, it is the thing that is trying to destroy everything about this world. It is trying to tear it apart from the inside. 
the game designers of the Lord of the Rings Online have made sure that the monsters in the game are as vivid and fearsome as the monsters in the books.